Hey guys, I'm LB, and uh, before we begin, I need to admit something. I am very behind on requests. There's there's so many maps from so many people, lots of good maps that I really need to play, and uh, maps that other people have played on their channels that I need to play as well before I can watch their videos, and I am just really behind. And uh, I'm gonna try and get like a spreadsheet together so I can keep track of all these requests, but if I haven't played your map in over a week from the point when you requested it, please request it again, because I might have lost it or forgotten about it. I apologize. But yeah, I let this situation get a little bit too far out of hand before dealing with it. And now, without further ado, let's check out 12 Faraday's Tests number 1. With no description, apparently. Alright. I think I've seen Deathwitch play some of these, but yeah, Faraday wanted me to play them as well. Hello, Companion Cube, that we can't do anything with just yet. Let's see... Also, it is currently raining, and when the rain comes, it changes the barometric pressure, and when the barometric pressure changes, it makes me really tired. So, when I'm really tired, I cannot think straight. This puzzle layout is similar... to another one that I played somewhere. What- what was this similar to? Ah, whatever. It just kind of reminds me of another puzzle that I've played before. Okay, that gets me the over uh, over to the other side here. What exactly do I want to do in here? I'm gonna set it to two times speed, mainly because this is a big open area, and I don't want to walk all that distance at normal speed. So I've got some sort of panel that will open up there. Oh, there's, uh... Oh, okay, yeah, okay. I see. It's actually really nice that you put that little panel there so that we had somewhere, some frame of reference to shoot. Okay. Is there a way to reverse the funnel, I wonder? Alright, you know what? Stay there. And then I do it from this side. Oh, come on. There we go. Got it. Alright. So we put this here and what happens? Oh, we get speed gel. Hey! That's nice. I appreciate that. Wait, what do we even need this for? The faceplates still work, right? Yeah, so then what's the- what's the point of that? <laughs> I guess we'll find out. And wow, that- I never realized... You know, this game- I've noticed a lot of games, for some reason, they do this thing where they automatically adjust the brightness. Like, if you look into a dark area, it gets brighter, and then if you look into a bright area, it's super bright, and it has to fade to darker. I've never understood why games do that. It's, it's always been strange. Like, I guess it's trying to simulate real life, but I think... I think eyes, human eyes, tend to adjust a bit faster than that. So what do I want to do here? You'll have to forgive me, I'm very tired because of the rain, and I cannot think straight. So that... looks like our ultimate goal. Also, what about the companion cube? This guy... does not have any signage, so I don't actually know what turns it off. It's probably an optional companion cube, just like in my maps. Alright, so... First of all, we probably want to do something with that, right? But what exactly do we want to do with it? Also, I just noticed that this- this is open, so that we could put objects through here. Well, there's that. Where do we want the gel, though? I'm guessing... somewhere here-ish? I guess?
that kind of work. Do we just want to fling across, I suppose? Let's find out if we can even make this, first of all. Oh yeah, we can totally make that. Alright, let's get the cube in that case. Question is, getting the cube inside of here... Might... Might be tricky. Ooh, that was close. <laughs> Not quite the effect I wanted. Oh, what am I doing? There's... I can place a portal right here. Kinda. It's really- it's really difficult, but it is possible. Maybe I'm not supposed to be able to, but then why make it a white surface? Oh my gosh, I hate doing this. It's possible, but incredibly difficult. <laughs> well, it sure got in there. But, uh, I got in the, the- the deadly goo as well. Not sure what else I was expecting to have happen there. There we go. That's how you do it. Not sure how intended that it is, but I'm too tired to think of a different way to do it. Alright, so... Portal there. Portal here. Grab our cube, and we are out of here, I believe. There we go. So what about this companion cube, huh? Did that turn off the fizzler by chance? No, it did not. Huh. I wonder... Save... And... Oh, wrong portal. <laughs> nope. All that did is reset my progress. Alright, no idea how to get that optional companion cube, so we shall continue onward. And in order to apologize for the hours and hours of content over the last few days, I'm gonna... this, this is gonna be just this episode today. I mean, uh, just this map today, really. Because, uh, I don't know if you noticed, but I had an hour-long video for Door Scorer, an hour-long video for Bring Your Daughter to Work Day, an hour-long video for, uh, Foresighted Fantasy, and a seven-and-a-half-hour livestream for Duskers. And that's way too much content for people to watch. So, as always, thank you for watching, I really appreciate it, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye!